Hey, this is Jesse Tula for BatchFrame.com, and in this video, I'm just going to be walking you through how to use the auto crop script. Now, when you open up After Effects, once the script has been placed into the Scripts UI Panels folder, you're going to go to Window and down to AutoCrop.JSXBIN. Once that's up, you'll see you have the auto crop panel, and this panel has three different options and the Help uh, About button. And you can bring this up, and it'll just give you a help file just explaining what each of these does but I'm going to be going over that right now. So, the first option we have is Auto Crop. And what Auto Crop is going to do is get rid of any unnecessary space inside your composition. So for instance, here we have this composition that just contains a single layer of text, but you can see around it, it has this whole bunch of empty space that's kind of unnecessary to what we're doing. So if you want to get rid of this quickly, all you have to do is select that text pre-comp and hit Auto Crop. And right away, you can see that the composition has now been brought down to exactly the size of this text. Now, this auto crop button is only looking at the current frame, but it works no matter what's inside. It can be particle layers, it can be text, it can be shapes, it can be solids. Anything that's inside that has some opacity is going to be cropped accurately. So, just to show this, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change this down to zero. If we go back into our main comp and hit auto crop, we're going to get a pop up that says there's nothing in this pre comp at this frame. That's because auto crop isn't looking at the layers themselves, it's looking at the uh, alpha in the image. So if we turn this up to just 1%, now that there's something there, we hit auto crop and it works fine. Now the thing about the auto crop button is that it's only looking at the current frame. So say we have something a little bit more complex, like these squares that are moving around. If we crop to say this frame right here, sorry, you can see it cropped down to this frame right here, but as we scrub through, you can see that some of the layers inside are moving out of our current composition size. So I'm going to undo that, and what we can do to counter that is use the second option, which is Auto Crop Duration. And what this is going to do is look at the duration of the layer itself, so it won't be looking at the length of the composition, it's going to be looking at the length of this layer. And the longer the layer is, the more time it's going to take. And I'll show you right now. So we just select the layer, we have our length set, and I'm going to hit Auto Crop Duration. We get this box uh, with our progress bar. and it's going through each frame to find the right cropping amount. Once that's done, if I select this, you can see that the composition is slightly larger than the current frame, and as we scrub through, you can see there's never a point where any of the layers reach the edge of the composition. Alright, now another example. We have this same squares pre-comp, and as you can see, it's already been cropped. And that's another feature of the auto crop. When you crop one composition, any duplicates in the same composition are cropped and repositioned, as well as any duplicates in another composition. All instances of the crop composition are going to be exactly as they were before the crop. You won't notice any change other than the size of the composition. But I'm going to undo that real quick. We're going to take a look at this other layer. And this one has been animated, and if I open up, and if I show you the keyframes, you can see that it's been animated position, scale, and rotation. But, when I auto crop duration, you can see that that animation was all maintained but the layer has been cropped down to the smallest possible size. So that's auto crop and auto crop duration. They, they both work automatically to bring the composition down to the smallest possible size. One works for the current frame and one looks at the entire duration between the in and out point of the layer. The third is called crop to mask. And 
we'll use our text layer again. Let's just bring the opacity back up to 100. And what, auto, uh, what Cropped Mask does is allows us to use a rectangular mask, select the area that we want our uh, composition to be cropped down to, and we hit Cropped Mask. And you can see that the composition is now the size of that mask, and the mask has been removed. If you have multiple masks applied, and you hit Cropped Mask, a dialog is going to come up asking which mask you want to use for the crop. And you can select the one you want, and the mask has now been cropped to that mask. It looks like this because there's other masks applied, but you can see that if I change these three to none, let's turn these off just so it's easy to see, you can see that the layer was cropped to that mask number three. So that's really it for auto crop. If you have any questions uh, or any ideas how to make this better, please feel free to email me anytime at contact at batchframe.com. Once again, this is Jesse Tula. I hope that you find auto crop useful. Thanks for downloading, and I'll see you in the next one.